Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at these which are the character options history of the Dalek sets 15, 16 and 17 uh, Dalek sets which are exclusive to B&M and are currently out now so if you guys want these sets for yourself you're going to have to go out and uh, annoyingly search every B&M that you can in order to find them and fight the scalpers as well as many other things but i wish you guys the best of luck if you want them and yeah we're going to be taking a look at them in this video so i know what some of you are saying i thought you said you weren't going to be able to review these well fortunately my uncle was able to come across them uh, quite quickly this time so it's funny they they seem to always start down south with the second wave whereas the first wave it's like good luck finding it so I got these really quickly, I've got them here with me, so I thought, why not give them a review right now for you guys? So, taking a look at the packaging, if there's one good thing that has come of the 60th anniversary, it's this logo, I absolutely love it. You can see that um, they're different colours for the sets. Now, my initial theory was that the colours would represent each Doctor that has since gone out the window, I guess it's just whatever character thing looks good. And um, you can see no window, which I really don't like, but I've said all this many times before. It shows you the era that they're from. So you've got the seventh doctor. They are part of the 5.5 slash 14 centimeter collector series featuring Supreme Dalek and Grey Renegade Dalek. And then for this set featuring uh, Time War Survivor Dalek, which is basically the Dalek from Dalek and the Black Dalek slash Dalek Sec, just in case you needed reminding. And then you've got these golden limited edition stickers because nothing makes people want to charge extortionate money on eBay than a golden limited edition sticker. So taking a look at the boxes, you can see they're exactly the same except for the color difference. You've got read ups on the back, logo on the side and on the top. And yeah. Not really too much to say about them. What you guys are here for are the figures, so let's get them out the box. Unfortunately, I already do have them out the box. So we'll just put these aside. And we'll bring in the Remembrance of the Dalek set first. And before any of you say anything, those sets are for my friend because he doesn't have any B&Ms near him that are actually good. So I thought, you know what, I'll save him the trouble and I'll pick him up two sets. So, I mean, these Daleks are absolutely awesome. So I think we'll start with the Supreme Dalek uh, first. So, yeah, lovely, lovely gloss black, as you can see. Very nice metallic silver for the slats and the hemispheres. It's a very, very nice Dalek, and I would say it's probably the best representation we have or are ever going to get of this figure in of this uh, Dalek in figure form. So, yeah, standard articulation. Dome does a full 360. All articulation is the same for Daleks. I can go up and down. Uh, arms and gun are on ball joints. Three wheels at the bottom, rotating wheels, so it glides across very nicely all the same and yeah it just looks really good now i know some people are a bit annoyed about the eye personally i actually think this eye makes makes it look better i kind of wish it had this eye in the show so i don't mind that they've used the renegade one but yeah it's very very cool this is a brand new eye sculpt this hasn't been used on any previous dalek so it's nice that they do give you a bit of variation and uh, yeah, everything else is roughly the same. You've got that new um, 3D uh, circle uh, sculpt that came in with the Necros Daleks, which sadly I never got to review. And then, yeah, aside from that, it's just your regular Dalek, really. But I just love this gloss black. I think it works so, so well. And I also love the orange dome lights, which are also a new sculpt. They're a lot more pointy, and that's the same for both of the Daleks. And yeah, you've got white discs on there. Unfortunately, there has been a bit of quality control with mine. You can see that the um, the black has gone onto the discs quite noticeably on both ends. It's not too bad, but you know it is it is a shame about that. What I really love about these eyes is that they've actually used silver metallic paint uh, for the iris, and when you hold it into the light, it almost lights up which is really cool and that is accurate the props really did have that so it's really cool that they've done that it's a very nice detail 
As you can see, the gloss is very, very good. You can see me in there. Unfortunately, one gripe is that they do have these kind of nasty marks in some areas, and that's come from the production line. It's probably been bashed about a little bit, but that's unfortunate with this kind of gloss, is you do have to be very, very careful because it marks very easily. You see, I've got, uh, I think that's a bit of glue there. And unfortunately, the silver has gone just a little bit over on the hemispheres. So a bit of QC, uh, but you you are going to expect these things from mass-produced toys. But overall, really, really not bad. I really like this Dalek, and I'm very happy to have it in the collection. So we'll bring in the Renegade. Now, this is my favorite of the two. This is the Dalek that I have wanted for so, so long. I've been trying to track down the original versions, but they go for extortionate prices on eBay. And I'm very, very happy to have this version instead because there's a lot of controversy going on about the gray. And I'm just going to say right now that I was wrong. I absolutely love this gray. So I'll just bring in a Destiny Dalek. And as you can see, it's only a shade darker. Now, I thought this was inaccurate because on the actual story, they actually do seem a bit darker than this. They almost have like a sort of bluish tint to them. But that must have just been the way it was shot, because if you actually go, if you go on the Internet and you look at pictures of the actual prop that's still around to this day, this gray that they've used is pretty spot on. And yeah, I just think it looks absolutely amazing. So comparing to this Dalek, an obvious thing is this Dalek is completely matted. Even the hemispheres are matted, and I really do love that. I think it's very unique uh, compared to most Daleks. I mean, almost all Daleks, well, all of them have glossy hemispheres, at least in the classic series. So this really is something different, and it really sets it apart on the shelf. So another thing is the slats. Now, I personally really like this because, like I say, I think it offers some difference, but they are supposed to have five. It's supposed to be one, two, three, which is dead in the center, four, five. And um, I know some people have been like, what's people's problem? I don't understand. Well, yeah, there are supposed to be five instead of four. But what character have done is they've just used the Imperial Dalek um slats but just painted them differently that is a shame i do wish you know because these sets were supposed to all be about accuracy i do wish they'd maybe just put in a bit of money to sculpt a new midsection if they had done that this dalek would have been absolutely perfect and it's just a shame that they didn't but i personally don't mind it that much because like i say it creates some difference between the two figures and i really love it Overall, I'm very, very happy with this Dalek. Another difference is they have painted the rings uh, silver instead of white. And then with the domes, there, uh, the dome lights, they're just a regular transparent. But I love that little black ring you've got there. It's a really, really nice Dalek. I'm actually struggling to have anything negative to say about it, to be honest. So what I'd really love is to have a couple more of these guys. So I did pick up a few more sets. I've got about three of these sets. Uh, that's not including the one I've got for my friend. Um, I know what some of you guys are saying. Oh, but you said all about hoarding. It's like, look, two or three sets, I completely understand. It's when you get like 10 or 20 of them. That's when it starts getting ridiculous. But, you know, having the Supreme Dalek with a group of these renegades around him, it's going to look so great on the shelf. And I absolutely love it. I would say this is definitely one of, if not the best, history of the Dalek set that character have ever released. So putting this off to the side, we'll bring in the new series Daleks. Now, this is one that I was debating whether or not I was going to get, but then I thought, no, I would like a Dalek sec in the accurate sculpt. So we're going to take a look at him first. And yeah, once again, you've got this lovely, lovely gloss, much the same as this Dalek here. Uh, all the articulation is the same. Uh, the sculpt is just different. So this is a classic. This is a new series. As you can see, new series ones always come in as a bit taller, a bit more bulkier. And... Yeah, it's really, really nice. I love how you've got the mattedness with the glossy hemispheres, and it just really, really looks nice. Uh, you've got the blue eye stalk, which is painted really nice and neatly, the correct ID tag. They've even gone to the trouble to paint the silver rivets on the lights, which they had actually stopped doing at one point. The whole light was just transparent, so it's nice that they've gone out their way to add that. It just feels less cheap. 
uh, wheels on the bottom can glide across all nice and easily really really nice but this Dalek is really just a variant of this one which we'll bring in now and this was the OG, the original. Now, this is meant to be the original Dalek that appeared in Dalek from Series 1. And that's because it has the correct ID tag. Now, I really like this Dalek, but I do consider this to be a huge missed opportunity. Because my favourite Dalek toy that character have ever released was actually the Dalek that had the mutant reveal. You could actually take off this part and there would be a, a mutant inside the actual Dalek creature. And then you could just slide it back on. I had always hoped that maybe they would implement implement that to the more accurate sized version, but sadly they didn't. I, I mean, it could have been costing that did it. Um, but sadly that is not present on this figure. So this will probably just be a random Dalek in the background on my display, even though it has the ID tag. Um, I'm just going to stick with my mutant reveal Dalek because I love that toy to this day, but it's a very nice Dalek. The bronze is actually quite unique. It's more of a gold, uh, which this Dalek apparently was like it had a gold, uh, base, um, I forget, like midsection base, whatever you call it here, where all the others were bronze. It's got a very nice kind of wash to it that just makes it look like it's really been through the wars. And like I say, it looks very good in this updated sculpt. Very nice. However, there are a few things that do annoy me about this. The ball joints are gold when they're supposed to be black, just like in there. I can't understand why they couldn't just take these and put them in there. Same with the eye. Uh, that is supposed to be black as well, that little thing that the eye stalk goes into. So I just pop the eye out and have a look. You can see that they've just painted it gold, which is wrong. I don't understand. I, that's so weird. Like I don't understand why character does this you know they make these little inaccuracies that don't make any sense i really do love the color of the base it's nice and uh, metallic it's not that weird green color that they had for such a long time it's a shame that they couldn't paint the little screws in at the bottom there like they have done here with the midsection but it's okay they haven't done it on dalek sec either but overall I think these are two really nice Daleks. I do have to say, though, these guys are the main attraction. I could understand why a lot of people would maybe want to skip on these, but it is nice to have Dalek Sec in the uh, updated and revised sculpt. It's a shame I don't have an original one to compare for you guys, but yeah. So overall... I think these sets are really good. The Remembrance set or History of the Dalek set 15 or whatever, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It would have been a 10 out of 10 if character had just updated that a little bit, but I still like it. And uh, this Dalek set, I have fit, uh, 16 and 17 because I guess they couldn't be bothered to make more bronze Daleks which is annoying or either that or the the money's on the way out who knows but yeah this set I'm gonna give uh, I'll give it a seven and I think that's being generous I do actually quite like this Dalek more than I thought I was going to really like Dalek sec it's great to finally have him in the updated sculpt because for some reason only America could get him that was weird. I'm not sure what that was about. But overall, I really, really like these sets. And like I say, they are available to get at B&M now while stocks last. And I'm sorry, guys, but you are going to have to contend with scalpers. Uh, this is a very big problem. But like I say, just do your best. Travel around your B&Ms. Have a look. And honestly, guys, my best of I wish you guys the best of luck. Fingers crossed for you because these are absolutely fantastic sets. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning into this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Stay safe and happy wherever you guys are in the world. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.